Hi everyone, so today I am doing a show you around the drugstore sort of kind of video. Um, I wanted to do this for It's Mickey's Life because her drugstore makeup and my drugstore makeup are completely different and I'm from England and I still want to call it a drugstore because it's easier and it's the best thing for me to say so no hate. <laughs> so here is the footage that I te took and I'm just going to be doing a quick voiceover over it because there's quite a few people in there at that point and I was already getting enough weird stares like just by going up and down with it because originally people thought I was just texting and then they saw that I was really like moving a lot and so it was kind of like oh and I didn't manage to record like the bourgeois um like foundations and stuff because this woman was in the way <laughs> and I don't want to be like excuse me I want a video <laughs> so here is the footage and a voice over so hi dodo so this is the Rimmel section, so this is where all the mascaras are, and then here are some eyeshadows. I don't really like Rimmel eyeshadows that much, I think they're not very pigmented. Eyeliners, I have not much to say about them. Concealers, I also don't have much to say, and powders. And here's nail polish, I really love Rimmel nail polish, it was one of my favourites. And then onto lipsticks, and there's the Kate lipsticks, I really don't like the taste of them, I wouldn't recommend them. Onto Maybelline, my favourite. Um, here's the eyeliners and mascaras, and there's uh, lipstick and nail polish. I've not tried the nail polish or anything yet. Uh, more mascara. And here's the foundation. We just got the Fit Me collection, and it's a little bit like the color range is hardly anything. Okay, I'm going to the other side now. Uh, so this is 17, which I think is only a British sort of make. The lipsticks are really great. Um, eyeshadows. So so, mascara of hers is okay, um, dries up really quickly. Nail polish, it's pretty good. Um, I really like nail polish from there. I like how I have it on display. Uh, with fact, I have a friend who was actually a model for Seventeen. Uh, foundations, I've never tried any of their foundations. I really should try some. So, if you're to recommend, please recommend them. Okay. Here is Collection 2000 or Collection, whatever they want to call themselves. I've actually never tried anything from here too. I've heard their mascaras and the concealer are really amazing, but I've just never thought to really try anything from here. So if you have anything to really recommend from there, please recommend it. Here's a natural collection. This is known for being really cheap, like first sort of makeup to try out. I remember my first concealer was from them and my first powder was from them from actually. Here is Barry M. This is the most interesting looking uh, cosmetics brand in the sense that it's got those really, really nice bright pigments. Oh, there they are. The Dazzle Dusts. They are really gorgeous. And here's me just zooming in and focusing, hopefully. There we go. Focusing on the beautiful sort of colours. This isn't a very good selection. And the nail polishes are amazing. And there's more of the shadow dusts. They're really pretty. Um, yeah, they're basically known for that. Glitter nail polishes are gorgeous. Okay, now back to bourgeois. That lady still won't move. <laughs> mascaras, I've not tried in their mascaras. Or hardly anything from bourgeois. I'm just turned off by the fact that it's so expensive. So, there's the eyeshadows. Foundation. Oh, I did like that bronzer. It smells of chocolate. It's delicious. It's like a um, dupe or two faced bronzer. And that lady, <laughs> she wouldn't move. Okay. On to Max Factor, which is really overpriced CoverGirl, which really, really irritates me. Um, so, yeah, if any Americans will probably be able to recognize some of the products, um, like the mascaras up there, foundations. Okay, on to L'Oreal. So here's the foundations. Primer, that primer down there is really good. Uh, BB cream, those lip stains just over to the side were really good. Uh, lipstick. More lip gloss and lipstick. <laughs> eyeshadows, I love L'Oreal eyeshadows. I have this nude lingering. I think it's called um, eyeshadow palette and it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it right there. I swear it is. Uh, the infallible eyeshadows look really great. Mascaras, telescopic, telescopic 
is really good. Um, there's Revlon with their, this is a tiny Revlon like section, so they have nail polish, um, all the foundations, high shadows. But yeah, new products, suede lipstick, uh, lip butters, lip stains, more lipstick, and lip gloss at the bottom, and a couple more foundations. Okay, I also had picked up a few things from the drugstore, and oops. So, <laughs> Revlon was having a free for two, and I really wanted to try the No Naked foundation, so I picked up the lightest colour they had at this particular store. I've seen that there's two other shades lighter at the bigger boot stores. They've had like two shades lighter and a couple of shades darker. So, and then online they also have it a few shades like difference but the lightest one they had there was shell because I'm pretty pale I think this is gonna be a tiny bit too dark for me but it's summer ish right now so hopefully I'll tan a little bit and also go on holiday etc etc so I got this one so the second thing I picked up was the Revlon No Naked powder to go along with the foundation and I got this in light I don't, I've heard good reviews on it, but I don't know, I thought I'd give it a go. And the last Revlon item is one of their lip butters, and I've actually not tried one yet. Um, there's another colour I've got my eye on, but I didn't have it on this particular store I went to. So this is the colour I got, it's Sorbet, in yeah, it's just this, what I'd like tested on the back of my hand, it was this really nice like watermelon sort of colour, and I didn't have anything like it, so I picked it up because it was really nice, and I heard it's really moisturising, and I just love it. <laughs> and I bought some stuff from Maybelline. Ironically, I bought three things from Maybelline, even though there's no three for two. So yeah, they finally released the Mega Plush Mascara. I've heard reviews this is good when it's dried up after a while. And I personally love my mascaras after they've dried, dried up a little bit. So, and I also get them non-waterproof because I don't see the point in getting them in waterproof because I don't, I'm not got watery eyes or anything like that so I got it in black I think this is the only color this comes in at the moment so this is really really lovely color packaging I, think I got from Maybelline was the rocket mascara I've heard loads of good stuff about this mascara and I just really wanted to give it a go I really like the sort of like rubber brushes and I do like fiber ones but I like rubber they're the first sort of brushes I really fell in love with and I liked the Maybelline one by one mascara that one's really really good so I just wanted to give this one a try as well. And the last thing that I got from Maybelline was the Dream Fresh BB Cream. Um, there's a new BB Cream that I think's just been released for Maybelline that I saw there. It was something like one com for like combination to oilier skin. And it's got like, and I think it's also for acne skin as well because as I said it had 2% salicylic, sal how do I say it, salicylic? acid like the stuff that's usually in like acne medicine and acne like cleansers and moisturizers but I didn't really feel like I needed that and I haven't got oily skin I've got more of a dry dry sort of skin so I didn't see the point so I just said I tried this on the back of my hand and it really color matched my hand really well and it also doesn't have that much of a pinky sort of undertone which I do like because I feel like quite a lot of light products have got a really horrible like pink undertone and I haven't got a pink undertone <laughs> and it's really annoying because I go up to medium and medium's always way too dark but this one has a nice not like neutral sort of undertone to it so I really liked the tester of this. So that is my drugstore show you around and haul so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and bye!